think he's real? Low in there. Low in there. I got some tacos. And by the way, um, good, good. Um, by the way, YouTube, I hate St. Simon's and I'll explain why when I get back to Atlanta. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. Uh, so far I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. I'm Maya Ryan and I'd like to officially welcome you to my YouTube channel and I would like to welcome you to my vlog series and at the moment what I'm doing is I'm uh, having more uh, shots of myself or headshots sitting on my futon and having shorter videos until I can get myself a better camera but I do like uh, doing more day in the life type vlogs and being that I just ordered a new laptop I'm pretty sure that my vlogs will be up a lot sooner, so please be sure to stay tuned for that. And I also wanted to mention that it is the middle of the summer now. I have my ceiling fan going, the air conditioning's running, and I just love this. I love sitting on my futon with shorts on, and they're pajamas, but I'm very chill right now, and I'm having iced coffee at night. I don't have to work till later tomorrow. And speaking of which, I'm going to talk about something in a minute related to work. In the meantime, I wanted to touch you up on where I am. So, first and foremost, uh, I recently have elected to do some home repairs on my condo. I bought a new ceiling fan, and I also decided to buy myself the nest. That said, my wiring on my old thermostat is not compatible, so it is a struggle for me to find a HVAC guy who or can actually get those wires in, and so I'm waiting for a few phone calls and I'm looking for a few references and somebody that can charge me a good price, but what I need is a couple extra wires that can get me hooked up because I spent a lot of money on the Nest thermostat and it has been my dream to put that in and actually I'll have to do a vlog on that next. In the meantime what I'd like to do is get back to the beginning of this topic. So as you guys know I was having tacos at Tortuga Jacks and this was on Jekyll Island back on June 6, 2019. And that was the Thursday before the last day on St. Simon's. After that, it was uh, Safe Travels Home. And I mentioned to you guys that I hate St. Simon's. So first and foremost, I was looking at St. Simon's uh, as a possibility for Christmas. But a few things I discovered. So first of all, St. Simon's is a mini, Atl or, uh, it's a mini Atlanta. And if I want to do anything in Atlanta, I might as well stay here and perhaps take a Uber up to up our closest lake, which is a, which provides our water supply. They have a bunch of resorts up there, and that's about 30 to 40 minutes away. And they have the same kind of housing. The other thing, too, is St. Simon's is highly overrated, and it's very built up. There isn't anything that good. I mean, I tried the lighthouse, but... To be honest with you, I wasn't that impressed with it. My favorite lighthouse is down in Daytona, or it's um, on the Ponce Inlet. I've been there a few times, and I've walked up that lighthouse. First of all, it's a lot taller. I mean, it's taller, and it's supposed to be the yep, tallest lighthouse in the southeast, and it's prettier, and 
I mean, it's in an area that um, looks very much like St. Simon's. And that's another reason why I hate it is because uh, you can't compete with New Smyrna Beach and the Daytona Beach, Daytona Shores of um, Ormond Beach area, because that area is unique. And I think St. Simon's is trying to copy that. I personally think that St. Simon's should do more of a Georgian theme and not a tropical theme. And I think that's the problem. And then, again, everything looks too much like what you see on the outskirts of Atlanta, like in Gwinnett County. And I hate that. Uh, it doesn't even feel like a vacation. It's just, I hate everything about it. It's, first of all, I hate the pier. The pier is not even going out into the ocean. The pier is still going into the sound. And second of all, uh, it's too commercialized. And third, it's just, no, no. Oh, I know, it's expensive. I was looking at a few different Airbnbs over there, but I was honestly turned off because of the price. So I'm not going to St. Simon's anytime soon. I think I would rather stick to Jekyll Island during Christmas because the weather there is perfect. And number two, when I go out there, there's this really peaceful feeling. And honestly, I think I would rather spend a week at that um, Holiday Inn that I spent with my colleagues. And that is probably one of my favorite places. And then I like all those big, humongous chairs that you saw me sitting in. So, yeah. I just, again, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. And I want to avoid St. Simon's as much as possible, even though I probably don't have a choice next year if I want to go to the Ideas Conference and present again because of the, the transportation options are very limited on Jekyll. Though I would rather stay on Jekyll and walk on the beach and enjoy Tortuga Jacks because again, St. Simon's is just too overrated for me and I didn't like the way things were set up. I would rather go back to the Daytona Ormond Beach area and I would rather go to Orlando if I want something built up. But there's just some places that you hate and other places that you want to get away from things that are super built up. And it's probably because I'm a city girl and I need to get away every once in a while. And the stars on Jekyll Island are just so clear, especially when it's not cloudy. And I just love the sound of the ocean. And St. Simon's has no beach. And other people were talking about it, and they were right. When the tide comes in, that beach completely disappears. And Jekyll Island, on the other hand, has lots of cool things. Uh, now, as far as the lighthouse goes, again, it's not my favorite. The only thing I enjoyed was the view, but otherwise it was great. I didn't like it that I couldn't go up to see the Fresnel lens, like you can see up at the lighthouse on uh, Ponce Inlet, so. Anyway, I'm out of time tonight. If you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Please be sure to check me out on social media. Until next time, I'm Maya and I'm signing off. Bye.